Hey, Fire Guy here. Today, guys, is another video. And today, guys, I'm going to show you how to replace a drain valve assembly on a Henny Penny Velocity Fryer. Um, now, just a heads up, these fryers are not very technician friendly. Everything's crammed together, so this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what it takes to get it done. So with that, guys, I'll see you inside the store. All right, so here's the Velocity Pressure Fryer. All right. Now, I'll show you is, is so how to get into the drain uh, to test the drain valve out and how to test it real fast. All right, so you push and hold this. All right, and then you push it again. You push it one more time. Oh. Then we're gonna hit four. Then push that. Right here, number seven, tech mode. Okay, we so wanna do that. Password is one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two. What we want to go to is where it says drain. All right, so we're at drain valve. So it's number 18, 19. All right, all you gotta do is push one of these buttons. You're gonna take this side panel off and I'll show you guys where to test it next. Take the side panel off. There's just two screws down here at the bottom. We're gonna take that off and this whole side panel will come out. All right, so this plug here is where um, the uh, selector valve wires go to. So what you do is, is you can undo the plug down here want you can do it down here and then you can either stick I'll see if I can get the camera up in view sorry my hands you can either stick your probes in here or if you got your probes on your meter you put them inside here and what you want to look for is 24 volts check test both open and close you just so you push over here you hit open you can hit close this is a uh, 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 the partial open, that's just stop. So you hit open and close, you put meters here. These two here, you should get 24, you should get 24. That's where you gotta do, you get 24. Now if you're getting 24 volts and it's not moving, you got a bad drain valve. If you're not getting 24 volts anywhere, that's 24 volts um, alternating current. Uh, if you're not getting 24, then you need to change the controller. In this case, I already tested it. I did. I was getting 24 volts. The problem is the drain valve. Now the drain valve, I'll have to show you guys on the other side. You need to take the other side panel off. All right, it's hard to see, but right here, this wire right here, is your drain valve, okay? It goes to, this is the uh, little actuator. It's probably sticking them down. That's your drain valve. We gotta get that off. And that is not gonna be easy whatsoever. Good job, Henny Penny. So, if you're in the problem that I have, there's some oil left in the fryer. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and uh, pull the filter pan out. There's a little latch here. You just put a little thumb latch. It'll be on this side over here. You push it down and pull it out. Take the cover off and put it back in. Because I have oil in here, um, when I take the uh, drain valve off it's gonna spill oil out um, if you have the access to take that little actuator off um, then do that and then you can open it by hand and that'll just save you a whole bunch of headache um, I don't really have the access with this fryer here to do that so we're gonna be kind of making a small bit of a mess uh, when we twist that uh, drain valve off all right one of the first things you're gonna want to do is there's this piece that sticks out right here at the bottom um, let me see if I it's gonna be this part right here um, that's real easy to take off. All you got to do is grab it and turn it towards you. A quarter of a turn, it'll come right out. So, let's see how well we can see this without the light. Grab it, just turn it, quarter turn, little wiggle, comes right out. So, we're going to take that out right now. There you go. It's got these little nubs on the side here. It's a little greased up, but there's a nub right here, and there's another one right here, um, and that's what it latches onto. We're gonna... All right, now to take off the drain valve, we got that piece off now. To take off the drain valve, it's a little different. We have to 
twist the whole thing off. And we can't quite do that. We're probably gonna have to take this actuator off um, first. And there's a little small Allen wrench in the back. I'm not sure the size is. I'll, I'll link it down at the bottom of the screen so you know what size Allen wrench. We gotta undo the, on the, the Allen bolts to hold this in place and try to pop this thing off. Um, so let's go ahead and besides this thing here, guys, it's not like the other Henny Pennies where it's just a quarter inch. You actually gotta spin it off completely. So way to go, Henny Penny. All right, so to get to that, those screws on the back of this actuator, there's the Allen key. You gotta get underneath this fryer to get to it. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, I know. Sorry about that, guys, but that's Henny Penny for you. Yeah, so these little set screws here, Well, either way, they're a pin. You gotta pull them out and that whole piece just slides right off. Um, that's about as far as you really need to go. And then you can either unscrew this here and replace the whole thing or you can replace just the actuator. So, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the actuator because there's no need to replace that valve because it's gonna be under pressure. You gotta use a hardening pipe dope on this thing here. Um, and the valve is probably good so I don't see a need to do that. Now, the set screws I'm talking about are these two right there. Those are the ones you need to replace or remove to get this actuator coming right off. Okay. So I got the actuator in place. Now one thing you want to do is just you put that actuator in place. Um, you're gonna have to push it in fully. Let's see if I can get. So when you get the actuator in place. You're gonna have to push it in fully. I'm sorry about the blurriness, guys. So I can focus. Anyways, um, and actually, how you know you got it in is wind it up, push it in all the way, and uh, you may have to push in on this actuator right here a little bit, and you should feel almost like a click in place. Once you do that, go ahead and put the set screws in, tighten it down completely. Um, it will have like a little springiness to it. Um, so you're gonna have to keep pushing in while you tighten down those uh, set screws. And if those set screws don't go in all the way, you may need to adjust the actuator a little bit by twisting it one way or the other, so it'll line up with the little holes where the set screws go into. So there we go. Now it's time to plug it in and give it a test. All right. Now, quick tech tip: this wire here, run it above all the plumbing and stuff because you don't want it to get caught in the filter pan or anything like that. Once you get um, do that, plug it in, you know, put this piece back on, go back into the tech menu like I showed you earlier, test it out, make sure it opens and closed. This opens and closed. I did it real quick before it train everywhere. Um, and uh, we're good to go. Now all I'm gonna do is heat it up and everything, and then we're gonna test it 100%. Well, there you have it, guys. How to change like the drain valve and the actuator on a Henny Penny uh, Velocity Fryer. Now, I didn't change the drain valve on this here. The drain valve was just fine. Now, if you have to, um, you just go one step further. And as while you're underneath it, or even if you can from the side, you get a pipe wrench on the side of it, and then you just break it free. Um, you may need to get a torch in there um, and pull it towards the, uh, where it screws into, so that way you can loosen up that pipe dope, and then it'll just unscrew out. Now, there would be a couple of reasons you can change out that drain valve. The biggest reason you change that drain valve is, is that you'll notice it will drip, it will leak. Um, and on a pressure fryer, it becomes very noticeable because it will leak very fast. Um, that's not the problem here. That, that wasn't an issue. So I was just changing out the actuator valve on this one here. Um, yeah, I had a brand new drain valve, which I didn't replace. They didn't need. But um, but if you do, you know, go ahead and do that. Now, another reason you may need to change it is because uh, the pieces where you, like, twist a little piece thingies on or something like that, that's messed up or the... Um, the uh, uh, actuator kind of stripped out that little piece that, that turns or something like that. So you may have some of those little pieces like that that may need to be replaced. Um, you know, the little piece that turns it so it opens or closes that ball valve. Uh, but with that, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you got any comments or suggestions, of, leave that down below as well. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click that bell for more notifications. Uh, with that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.